Alright, so for today's video, just talking about a lot of the fry that we have here in the fish room. So, pretty exciting times. This baby tequila, Zoganeticus tequila, Rio Teochitlan. So, there's a bunch of hides in here. Normally, I pull the females, I didn't think any were ready to drop. Just threw some flakes in. I think this fish is so cool. Zoganeticus tequila, the tequila split fin. Also, I have another surprise over here in this tank. These are Atenobius Tauri, Antiohitos San Marcos. So these are uh, blue tail gideids. And my second female is dropping. As you can see, there's a bunch of things that look like baby fish. We'll make them all run. So I think that's awesome. So these guys are doing great. Just loving the nymphoides. I need to piece it out. Add in the some more places. This is cool because even though the fry are young, even have some that are out free swimming. Oh geez. Yeah, naturally go hide. Go hide back there. There we go. In focus. Venturing out. Outside that, the nymphoides. I do think that this female is currently, currently dropping. If I can get her to be in focus. So she will just dart around, and then uh, the baby will swim around really poorly. Kind of swims around the tank, does a quick lap, and then lands itself in the nymphoides. You can see right here there's one that's just kind of laying there. That's a brand new baby. Actually got some really nice close-ups of these guys. Super awesome. These fry are huge too. I don't know how to necessarily show you exactly how big they are without them getting scared, but uh, but significantly larger than Pacillid Fry. Love it, love it. Alright, where else can I go for fry? Alright, and this one is actually in my fry tank. Um, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I put a few of my pregnant tequilas in here. There's at least three that dropped in in this tank. So there's quite a few fry. That one that was in the main tank, that was an accident. <laughs> I, uh, or better yet, uh, we'll call her a surprise. So I was not expecting any of those females to drop just yet, but uh, sometimes you never really can tell. But there's just some more Zoogeneticus tequila. Seriously, one of my one of my favorite fish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we'll step outside the Gideids for just a little bit. Quickly take a look at um, Xiphophorus continens alkinsa, and then also this is um, Xiphophorus evelinae rio nacoxa. I could get this baby in focus. Alright, well there's another one over here. There we go. Focus, focus. Alright. So, both of these tanks here have wild zephyrus in them. 
Well, in the, the subgenus Platypusoas, meaning they're more like the platys than, than the sword tails. I got a bunch of sword tails up here, although those are Ilionons, primarily visible, but... Just checking in on the fry. I just get these guys in focus. I actually recently submitted these for, for BAP in my fish club, so I'm now registered. There's documented evidence of me as a breeder of Cyphopterus continens, which I think is pretty cool. I haven't submitted these yet, but this is the group that started off as just that small group of three females, so I'm pretty happy that I have fry. There's only three, maybe four in here, and it's pretty tough to find them because, as you can see, I let this one go a little bit wild, but honestly, some of the tanks that I've let go wild have just the most fry in them. Like this tank, baby fish. <laughs> There's baby fish everywhere, but... I've talked about those guys before. Just awesome. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Just quick check-in on all the wild-type live bears that I'm just so pumped about.